Hello. I will now show you how to connect your scanner once you have assembled it. There are two main methods that you can use to connect your P1 scanner. There is the STA mode and there is the AP mode. We will start by showing you how to connect the scanner using the STA mode. We will power on the scanner, then power on the camera. To power on the scanner, press the power button once, then press the camera power button once. Once your scanner is on, you can now proceed to connect the scanner using the Child Scan app. This can be using an Android phone or an iOS phone. I will show you how this works using an Android phone. The first thing you do on your smartphone is to put on Bluetooth and Hotspot. Once your Bluetooth and Hotspot are on, then you can open your Try and Scan app. Remember to allow your app access to nearby devices. Nearby devices is now allowed on the Try and Scan app. We can now proceed to open the application. Once we have opened the app, we'll select Add Device. We'll select the devices that matches our scanner. For this case, we are using the P1 scanner. We'll select Next once we have confirmed that the LED light matches the mode that we want to connect with. If your LED light is green, this means that you are on STA mode. This is the mode we want to use for connection. We'll select Next. Your device will now show on the screen. Once it shows on the screen, select on your device. Once you have selected your device, you will now have to input your phone's hotspot name and also its password. Once you have done this, select Confirm. You have now entered the collection interface. On this interface, this is where you can now start scanning. We have looked at how to connect to the P1 scanner using the STA mode. The next part, we're going to look at how to connect to the scanner using the AP mode. The first part is to turn off Bluetooth and Hotspot on your smartphone. Once this is done, you can open your Try and Scan app. This will prompt you to enable Bluetooth. We don't need to enable it now. Once this is done, we'll now have to switch the scanner from STA mode to AP mode. We will do this by pressing the power button once and then press and hold. When you do this, the power button will flash blue, then become solid blue. Once it's solid blue, then you know it's on AP mode. At this moment, the LED light is showing solid blue. I'll select Add Device, then I'll select the device that matches my scanner. In this case, it's the P1 scanner. Then I'll select Switching Connection Method, then I'll select Connect Device Wi-Fi. I'll turn on Wi-Fi. I'll select the scanner by checking the serial number that matches to that one of my P1. I'll now input the password of the scanner, which is FJD Tryon P1. Then I'll select Connect. If a notification comes up, select on tab for options, then select don't ask again, then select yes. You can now see your scanner is online. Once we are on the collection interface, you can proceed with scanning. You are probably wondering what is STA mode and what is AP mode and when to use which one. So STA mode connects to your scanner using Bluetooth and Hotspot. This is ideal for when you want to scan if you've got the additional accessory of the RTK module. When you have attached the RTK module to your scanner, you have to configure RTK. RTK with the RTK module is done through Nship. Nship requires an internet connection. And this is why you will use the STA mode, because it allows you to get internet access through the hotspot of your smartphone. 
You can also use this method if you are in an area where you have wide and strong network connection. Let's now look at the AP mode. The AP mode allows the scanner to broadcast its own hotspot. You will then connect to the scanner by connecting your smartphone to the hotspot of the scanner. This does not require any network access. So you will use this mode in an area where you have absolutely no network access.